this is Dylan Jones and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we're going to be talking about how we can organize points from multiple data sources in Trimble Business Center. Specifically, we're going to look at how to select specific members of an imported file, how to isolate those points from other objects within that file, using the Selection Explorer on how to do this, and uh, creating new layers in layer groups, and learning how to turn those on and off on our map screen. Okay, I'm in my Trimble Business Center project. I have imported my two job files, and now what I want to do is sift through the data and separate my points onto different layers. Okay, so um, let's just pretend we had two, uh, two different uh, controllers going out in the field on this job site. Um, a job from controller A, a job from controller B. Uh, we want to combine them into Trimble Business Center like I have already but now we want to kind of split them up into different layers um, and specifically split them into a layer called job A points and another layer called job B points. So to do this, there's a very simple way um, to achieve that by going into Project Explorer. Okay, so I've got my Project Explorer pane open. If you look under Imported Files, what you're going to find are the two imported files. So I've got this job here, here that we'll call job A. I'm going to right click on job A, choose select members, and what that just did is selected all of the objects that were imported under that job. Okay. Now in your properties pane, what you're going to see is that it's selected everything. However, what I want to do is just look at the points. Okay, so I can hit this drop down arrow that you see here and choose the type of object to view, right? So I want to view the points from this job. There's 103 points. And from here, I can edit anything in blue. So one of those things being the layer. I'm going to choose the, the layer drop down. And so my default layers here, not much really to, to, to work with. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to call that layer job A points. Hit enter. Hit close. So now all of my points from job A are on a separate layer called job A points. I can go to my view filter manager, and I'll see here under layers, job A points. I can turn those off that easier for you to see. Job A points off. Job B points are still under the regular points layer. So I'm going to do the same thing with job B. Job B. Right click on the job file name. Select members. See that all of the, the vectors and total station observation lines and, and everything have been selected. I even have um, some uh, panorama stations and things like that in, in this job. So what I want to do is just single out my points. From here, I can now put those onto a different layer, create a new layer, and call that job B points. Close there. So if I go to my view filter manager, job B points, turn those off. All right. One other way to do this is to go into your selection explorer. So this is under the home tab, locate selection explorer, click on it. And what you'll see here in selection explorer are selection sets up top. And then the snapshot or what we have within that selection set below listed um, and broken down by type, by name, and then we can select the objects um, very easily from this column here on the left. So all of the objects within this um, initial job here in my selection sets found in this list. What's cool about this list is that you can right click on a object and say select this type and it will select 
sorry, select all of the objects of that type really quickly. So you don't have to do a shift click or a control click to multi-select. Okay, so another way you could go about um, separating your data into two different layers is to use this selection explorer. So again, job A, I believe this was job A. I can go down through here, find my, my points type, select one of them, right click, select this type. Now it's selecting all 103 point types from my job. And then, of course, I can put those on a specific layer. Okay. Last little thing that I want to show is in the um, layer manager. So to get back to the layer manager, a different way to get there is to go into the CAD tab, choose layer manager. And from here, what I'm going to highlight is a layer group. So job A points, I can put those on a layer group and you'll see what that is here in a second. I want to create a new layer group. I'm going to call it job A. I'm going to create another layer group for job B. And hit close. So now what I can do is I can select a layer and put it on a specific layer group. What this would be useful for is if you had other layers that you want to separate into these layer groups. Okay, so maybe if I created another new layer for job B lines specifically, just as an example. I can put my job B lines layer on my job B layer group. So when you have that all configured the way you want, I'm going to hit close now and go back to my view filter manager. What you see here in the view filter manager now are these layer groups. Okay. So no longer do I see job A points, job B points under layers. I see them as their own layer group. So there in job B, layer group, I have job B lines and job B points. So this just makes it really easy to turn off everything from job B or a specific item in job B and just go about it that way. Um, just, just creating groups for um, different layers to belong to. This has been another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. We hope you enjoyed this video and will join us again next time.